In Revit, there are numerous ways to create openings on a roof. Let's start by creating an opening in the flat roof. I'll select the roof and then choose Edit Footprint on the Modify Roof's contextual ribbon. When I do, Revit goes into sketch mode. I'll switch to the roof plan view to better see the roof boundary. To add an opening by sketching, I'll select Rectangle from the Draw Gallery in the Draw Panel and make sure Define Slope is not selected in the Options bar. Moving into the drawing area, I'll sketch a rectangle approximately 12 feet by 12 feet, or 4,000 millimeters by 4,000 millimeters in the metric file. The exact size and location is not critical at this point. Just make sure the rectangle is inside the existing boundary in order to create an opening. I'll click Finish Edit Mode to complete the sketch, and then switch back to the 3D view to see the opening. Next, I'll select the gable roof. Choose Edit Footprint from the contextual ribbon and then select Rectangle again. Once again, I'll sketch a rectangle inside the existing boundary and then click Finish Edit Mode. However, this time, there is not an opening in the roof. To place openings in pitch surfaces, such as sloped roofs, you must use tools specifically for creating openings. I'll switch to the Roof Plan view. On the Structure ribbon and the Opening panel, select By Face. This activates the Opening by Face tool and the first step is to select a face. I can select any of the faces of the sloped roof. I can even select the flat roof we've already created an opening in. I'll select the upper face of the gabled roof. When I do, Revit goes into sketch mode. On the draw panel, I'll select rectangle. I'll sketch a rectangle approximately 12 feet by 12 feet, or 4,000 millimeters by 4,000 millimeters in the metric file, on the selected face. Then I'll click Finish Edit Mode. This time, an opening is created. When I zoom in, you can see that the opening was created perpendicular to the face since we can see part of the inside of the roof. Also, realize that with the opening selected, you can drag it to another location on the roof face. You can even drag the opening past the edge of the roof. When you take the opening completely off the host, you will see an error message. I'll drag the opening near the center of the face. Next, on the Structure ribbon and the Opening panel, I'll select Vertical. This activates the Vertical Opening tool. This time, we must first select a floor, roof, ceiling, or soffit to create an opening in, not just a face. I'll select the Gable Roof, and then select Rectangle again. I'll sketch a rectangle on the lower face approximately the same size as the opening in the upper face. Then, I'll click Finish Edit Mode. Now, when I zoom in, you cannot see any part of the inside of the roof because this opening is vertical. I'll zoom out and then create a section view so we can take a look at the differences between the two openings. On the Quick Access Toolbar, click Section. Draw a section line vertically through the two openings. Then, right-click and select Go to View. Here, you can see that the opening on the right is indeed perpendicular to the roof and that the opening on the left is vertical. Thank you.